So this game is called Luminile Found Footage, if I'm even saying that right. Luminile Found Footage. It's a uh, it's another backrooms game. I know, I know, I said no more backrooms games, but this one looks good. We are approaching site 12A. Always a hazmat suit. It wouldn't be the back rooms without a hazmat suit. Can we get a back rooms game where you're not wearing a hazmat suit? Take a look around and then we'll reel you right back up. We go up here? I don't know if I have a, oh, we do have a flashlight. Dude, that's awesome. I always appreciate when they give us a flashlight at the beginning of the game. Like we don't have to go find one. All right, space to interact. Can I interact with this hose? Does anybody know how to interact with the hose? I, I always have a hard time interacting with hose. I never know. I never know what to do. I never know what to say. Looks the same as up there, but it feels a bit colder. Okay, visually yeah. it looks good. It definitely looks like uh, I like the realistic vibe of the the camera. Classic back rooms, yellow wallpaper. All right, here we go. We're going deep into the back rooms. I wonder who pays the electric bill for the back rooms. Like the lights are always, well, I guess not. I was gonna say they're always on as we enter the dark area. Dude, it's it's pretty dark over here, even with the flashlight. Is that a handrail? I don't know what that is. Or maybe it's just some like weird trim. The walking is really slow. Okay, uh, we can't jump. No way around the chairs. Can we move the chairs? Space to interact? I can't pick the chairs up and I can't jump. I don't, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, uh, too good to be true. So we go back here. Oh, we can run. Well, I didn't see any other way to go. And we do have stamina. I just wasted all of it. Can we squeeze through here? Yes, we can. Oh my God. Yeah, there's a whole nother area back here. I just heard something move. All right, chat. Is Doodle Bob in this? Is I would be I would be more surprised if someone made a backroom games that Doodle Bob was not in. That would be more more shocking to me at this point. There's like a weird stain on the ground over here. Uh, remind me to bring my uh, my carpet steamer the next time we fall into the back rooms. Just want to do some cleaning. You think anybody shows up to vacuum the back rooms? I mean, you never really see much debris on the ground. Like it's always fairly clean in the back rooms. I keep hearing things move. It sounds like switches and shit. Hmm, okay, so we got a little gap here. We can squeeze through. I think we found customer service. I think we found the customer service. Uh, what is this place? What? That's, that's interesting. Should we keep going this way or go the way we were going? Oh God. I think those are vents. I don't think that's a closet. Oh no, no, they're blinds. It's a window. Can't see out the window. Nothing to interact with. Some of these, can we pick up the balls? Dude, space bar to interact. <laughs> I thought I saw someone standing there. Uh, But there's like nothing to interact with. Okay, someone has been here. There's definitely a janitor in the back rooms. Someone has definitely paid to keep this place clean. All right. Dude, I thought for a split second that coat rack was Doodle Bob waiting for us. Okay, can we can we stand up? Dude, where are these balls coming from? Hey guys, we found my we found my streaming room. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> it's almost the exact color of green. <clears throat> Check it out, guys. We found my streaming room. All right, we have a radio here. Do I have to, like, army crawl to interact with it? No. It's a paper. Okay. I don't know how I got here. I know how to escape. 
There's only one way out, the elevator, but I have sealed it off in order to keep that thing from escaping and spread the code to the elevator throughout the area on other on other papers. Okay. I have saved our reality, but at the same time, I have locked myself here until I starve or that thing gets me. Okay, so nine space one space space space. Nine space one space 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 is part of the code and it said something about it spread the code out across other papers so just remember that a nine and then we don't know the other number a one and then three more numbers i love how we went from the back rooms to like these other areas of like different colors and it's like all seamless like it's all connected rather than just having to stay in the, the yellow back rooms until like the level ends but i feel like we have to go back to the other back rooms yeah which was back this way now the guy said there is something in here which i assume is doodle bomb it always is the question is where Until I starve or that thing gets me. Are we supposed to find this guy? Or do we just assume he's already dead? All right, I definitely heard saw. Oh! What the fuck is that? Ah! I, I, it, it wasn't moving. I thought maybe it was like a, another coat rack that actually had coats on it. Okay, it, that's that did not look like the standard doodle bob that we see that's generally in the back rooms. Okay, I don't know where he went. Oh, but we can get our laundry done real quick. Okay, that's good. That's good, because I only brought one change of clothes. All right, we will go check out the washer and dryer in a second. I just want to see what this is. Oh my God, there's like so many places to go. All right. Let's go back here real quick. Dude, you run out of stamina so fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, either like a coat rack with like, there was things hanging off of it. Or like you said, a tree. I thought it was just supposed to make us think that there was something there. But the fact that it moved, I was not expecting that. Oh God, fuck! Oh, it's definitely a doll. Is it alive? Oh my God. <laughs> like I I'm already on high alert. After that other thing we saw, turn the corner and there's like a creepy doll staring at us. Okay, can we open these? Maybe there's another... We gotta find more papers with codes on them. All right, nothing on the washer and dryer. God damn it, it's the fucking kid again. Dude, that's what makes these backroom games or any liminal liminal horror game scary is like you feel so isolated in these in these areas like in the back rooms or in the dream pools or you know wherever whatever the level is and then like you get you get comfortable with that feeling of loneliness and then you you see something and it like immediately like creates this anxiety because you, you thought you were alone all right maybe this is customer service I think we I think we found Pam Beasley's desk. Gotta head this way. There there was that other area. I don't know where it was with the window. It can't be far from here. Alright. We're home free. Oh wait. Dude, is that that's what that thing was from earlier? Oh god! Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's friendly. I mean, he's moving away from us. It's not like he's trying to kill us. 
Yeah, he, he just keeps disappearing. Ugh. I don't like that. I don't like that. So it seems like the way we're going, we keep running into arrows. So I'm going to say we're going the right way. Oh God, fuck you, man. Son of a bitch. Do they do anything? He's just chilling here. I can't interact with it. Okay, everything's everything's okay. Just a little little on edge. It's just the doll. Can't interact with that. Imagine he's gone. Now he's still there. Creepy little fuck. So we gotta go this way. Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this place feels familiar, immediately alert an employee. If you see something. If you see something, say something. Yeah, definitely not familiar. Not yet. The deja vu area. Oh, is this the way out? <gasps> okay. Okay. What was it? 971? And then blank blank two. Oh my God, dude. We need like, it's probably one more piece of paper. I hope to God it's nearby. Like, I don't want to have to backtrack all the way to the beginning and then somehow find our way back here. But that paper could literally be anywhere. Because, dude, I bet you know where it is? I bet you it's in that area where I saw the window with all the colored rooms in there. But, dude, I, I have no idea how we got there. Okay. Okay. So, I remember seeing that. We saw the washer and dryer. Maybe I went this way? But yes, yes, here we go. There's the window. All right, there's a little. Little hole in the floor. Somehow we have to get to that. And I'm guessing, oh, dude, I even knew he was there. So we go this way. No dummies over here. No dummies over here. Still no dummies. Oh, okay, we found a door, hold on. We'll come back to that in a second because that's going to take us into the room I'm looking at. But I just want to explore real quick. And then we'll double back. All right, we can squeeze through here. Is that ice cream? Oh, what a tease. No ice cream. Dude, what a random room. All right, now I got to find that other door we found. Okay, here we go. All right, this is taking us into the window room. Little cutscene. All right. There, there it is. There it was again. Still don't know what it is. It looks like a giant leaf, like a giant maple leaf. All right, we're looking for, there it is. Okay, five, three. So nine, seven, one. <clears throat> five three two. Can you guys write that down? Nine seven one five three two. We found the casting couch in the back rooms. Any dolls back here? 
Dude, like, uh -huh. um, yeah. We keep seeing that entity, it moves, but then it's never where we go. I'm surprised these don't do anything. Dude, I'm gonna say that the, I'm gonna call it the giant maple leaf until we actually see what it looks like. The way that's behaving, here we go, is actually more scary than Doodle Bob just like constantly chasing us. Like, I like how we're just seeing glimpses and it's just, it just peaks a little bit and then disappears. That's way more scary, way creepier than just having Doodle Bob just constantly chase you around. Okay, so it was nine, nine, seven, one, five, three, two. Ever get a feeling you're being followed? I think we're good. Okay. How do we? Oh, whoa, shit. Level two? <laughs> Ooh. The water level. Five. All right. That's going to be important. Five. It looks green. I don't know if the color is important. Like the dream pools, but it looks like someone died the water. It makes me want to play the dream pools again. Chat's like, no, swole. Enough with the dream pools. Dude, I think we've spent like seven hours, like between three streams, exploring the dream pools in Dream Core. Dude, I love it though. I, I don't know what it is. I just love the vibes of that game. All right, we're just going to go up these stairs. No future. All right, I don't see any numbers yet. Any other numbers than five. There's no future for you. That sound you hear is the sound of our hazmat suit. All right, no dolls in the pools. In the pool level. I guess we can drop down here, right? <laughs> Very uneventful. Eight. Oh, shit. Five. Five was like a, a square with a circle around the five. Remember that. And it was green. Holy shit. This is blue. Blue eight with four circles in the corners of the square. I mean, I, I guess I could take a picture with my phone. Can we move these? Can we interact with them? Can we take them around a lazy river? I feel more confined in this water level than I do in other... Like, when we play the dream pools, it feels so much more open. Oh, and, th and that brings us back to the beginning. Okay. Yeah, if the uh, if the tile guy in the dream pools is like an expert, this is like where his apprentice goes for training. So we got a five and eight. Number five is green, eight is blue. All right, I don't think we were in here yet. Got a hot tub over here. Ooh. Here we go, pool rules. Doyle rules. No running on pool deck. No food near pool. Do not grab others. Be respectful of others' space. Do not drown. Hey, in case you were thinking about it, don't drown. Can't afford to lose anymore. No sign of any entities yet. Now see, this looks like normal, normal water. That other water was definitely dyed blue. 
like mini dream pools. Ooh, uh, damn it. I'm waiting for a doll to show up. Oh, oh, oh! You guys, it was so quick. Did you guys see that? There was definitely a head or something poking out from around this wall right there. Yeah. I, I definitely, you saw it? Okay, so it wasn't just me. That's the first, the first sign of anything that we've seen. Red, three triangle, circles on the outside. Red three triangle circles on the outside. Five is green, eight is blue, three is yellow. Eight is four corner pizza. Five is pizza in a box. Three is triangle with circles on the outside. Ooh, here we go. Is, it, is that outside? Making sure no one's following us. Were we already in here? I feel like this just looped around. Did we go up here yet? No, 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 no. I said I'd come back to this. All right, nothing over there. No numbers in this room. This might be the way out. Oh, th that's the code. Oh, here we go. Uh, three, eight, five. Right? Three, eight, five. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, I'm just, I wasn't even looking at the plus signs. It's a fucking equation. I was just looking at the numbers to fill them in. My, my God. All right, so that's what, 16? Dude, I was, I was so excited that I remembered the numbers. I, I was just thinking of like, oh, you just punch in the numbers didn't even like notice the equation okay this looks like the starting area again I'm assuming that's the way out Remember escape the back rooms where we had to go up that one staircase for a hundred levels and then you had to drop down in the middle and that was the way out. Seemed like it took forever. There we go. All right, found the elevator. Again, every time we get in an elevator in a horror game, I always wait for like, as the doors are closing, something to like reach in at us. Okay, we're good. Which one's this? Which level is this? Was this like an office level? All right, we made it to office space. So apparently we've landed in Dunder Mifflin. Michael? Dude, lots of chairs. Or maybe we're in a school. Keep forgetting that I do have a flashlight. All right, tight corners. Oh, oh, that's it. Wait, wait. Oh, there is a, there is a path back here. Yeah, this looks more like a school. All right, hold on. Let me look around here real quick. Can we remove this? No. 
Can't remove the gate. Uh, stand up. Fiction. Okay. So this is like a library. We've seen libraries in other Backrooms games. Like the one where you had to collect the tapes and that other entity was... Um, walking all around. All right, we found the exit. Is that it? Hold on, hold on. Before I leave, let me just take a look. There's something over here. I don't know how you, I don't know how you trigger the radios. That's like the second one I found. I should have known. I, I should have fucking known. I had no business going back there. We already found the exit. Why'd I go back? Oh man, what if this is when the, the doll runs towards the elevator? Again, bracing myself. I mean, one of these times, something's gonna come running at the elevator as the door's shut. I feel like you can't have elevators in a horror game and not have that moment at some point. Can we, can we leave? Hmm. Okay, that was a quick one. So this area of the back rooms is under construction. They're like, oh shit, he's already here. We're not done yet. It's like the Truman Show where they have to like set up, you know, before he gets somewhere. And then like towards the end of the movie, he started realizing what was going on. So he'd throw them off and they'd have to like hurry up and set up where they didn't think he was going to go. Oh, dude, a mall level? I recognize this place. I recognize this place. Hello? Anybody there? The end, books and magazines, that, which is interesting because uh, every other library in the back rooms is called the end. Uh, we found a gobble gun machine. Hopefully we can get a perkaholic. Uh, east wing, bottom floor access. Come see our show. The fuck is that? Diamond jewelry. All right. I'm just taking a look around here. I'm surprised we don't see more malls in back rooms. Dude, like an abandoned mall is probably the closest thing you'll get to like the feeling of a back rooms in real life. Like if somehow you get to a mall like before they're open, no one's there. Or like if you if you're like a you know like a night crew in the mall. This is not where we came in, but we cannot leave. Yes, we cannot leave on that elevator. Lines, furniture, and interior decorating. All right, we found the escalator going down. An escalator cannot break. It can only become stairs. What's this say? Uh, main floor closed for renovations. We are sorry for the inconvenience. Dude, there's so many directions to go. We got some scaffolding over here. Can we actually go up there? No. Okay, that's actually good. Just one one less place to explore. Let's see what this is. Kind of reminds me of Dawn of the Dead, where they found refuge in a mall during the the zombie attack. What's this? 
nothing. There's gotta be something over here. Nah, nothing, dude. Yeah, nothing. First time seeing a mall since COVID. Dude, in our area, malls are like really bouncing back. Like a lot of them, like if you went to a mall, uh, like five years ago, like half the stores were gone. Nobody was there. Like it was like, it was a weird feeling that like even before COVID, like malls were kind of on their way out. But I feel like people just got tired of being at home and they, and they started like rekindling their love for like just going out and actually buying stuff like in person than um than online shopping because like the last time i was at the mall place was packed it wasn't even christmas time every every storefront was full like every storefront had a store it was just good to see it felt like the 90s no visitors beyond beyond this point well too bad okay can we go up this scaffolding i feel like this one's actually open no shadow cone Shadow Cone is blocking the way. Wait, there it is. The fuck? That's not a cone. That's a wizard's hat. I keep thinking those are notes. I think it's just pieces of drywall. We haven't seen any entities yet. Not in this level. No. Was that this level? Yeah, no, I don't think we've seen anything yet. There's the elevator. All right. Home free. I'm just going to check behind this desk over here. I'm always afraid to miss something. All right, nothing over here. No entities following us. Elevator of safety. Shut the door. Shut the door. Hmm, dude, we're just speeding through this that was the fourth level oh nice all right we found the casting couch again do you think when when people make games like that and they they put a couch in the middle of nowhere in a room that they don't like think to themselves like, like are you doing that knowing that it looks like the casting couch or did you just think a couch looked nice there and you literally have no idea and it never crossed your mind? Right, there's a red light over here. All right, no kids. No, no, uh, no, no dolls. Can't move the chairs. All right, let's go check out this side. This is like an abandoned like convenience store still no ice cream still no ice cream oh my god oh my god dude that's the only way to go too all right i'm assuming this wraps around dude, and, and my flashlight is on it's still that dark i feel like one of these times there's got to be something waiting for us Let me crawl through here. And we're back in the back rooms. Like the actual back rooms. It all came full circle. Hello? Can you hear me? That's not us. I think there's another person down here. I think there's another person. Do we think it's another person or do you think there's a, uh, do we think the entity can like mimic the voices of other people? Like maybe the guy that left that code earlier died, but the entity is able to mimic his voice. All right. So far, coast is clear. check down there wait anything in here nothing in there this back rooms is not as yellow as the other back rooms 
It's more of a more of an off-white. More of a cream. Cream back rooms. Creamy back rooms. We can start a whole new genre. <laughs> Definitely not human. It kind of sounds like Ban Ban. Maybe it's the same voice actor. God. It's crazy how dark it is, even with a flashlight. Nothing over here. Is that it? We dead. Oh good. Trying to get through to you. We had lost connection. Anyway, we're lowering another cable to pull you up. Hope you didn't want it too far. Hello? You still there? Tape one. End of tape one. So G D Z. Uh, his walkie-talkie, so that entity, I guess, somehow killed us. Birdman. <laughs> it did not look like a maple leaf. Our walkie-talkie was, like, another crew member or whoever uh, saying, like, hopefully you didn't wander off far. We're throwing another cable down to pull you up. So we wandered off, and they were trying to help me, but we were gone by the time they lowered the other cable down. Cool ending. Kind of wish the entity would have at least, like, attacked us or something. Like, all that buildup. Is there more? I don't think there is. Hmm. That's it. End of tape one. Maybe there's gonna be more in the future. Oh, dude, there's the entity. Was he there before? I don't think he was in the beginning of the game. He was there in the beginning of the game. What is it? It looks kind of like a bird. I don't know, man.